Hi, welcome back to the Leadership Help Desk, where we're just striving for purity and leadership. And in order to be a leader, we need to be able to for afford a ham sandwich. So we got to get out of debt, and then we need to start making some passive income. A very popular topic on the internet at the moment. This passive income that we're studying is dividend investing. And uh, we buy stocks and we get a dividend from those. Now, you need to go back and see part number one and part number two. We're discussing Ford stock. I'm not endorsing Ford. I'm just using it as an example, although I do own approximately 200 shares. So in this example, the first example, we put in $830 just to buy 100 shares, and we saw the results over two years. And then in the second video, we invested the $830 to buy 100 shares. And then in, in year number two, we added another 500 to see the difference between just investing the 830 for two years and then investing the 830 plus the 500, which gave us better results. Dividend investing is a slow grind. But this is one way uh, you could speed it up. It's inspirational. Uh, it's kind of addictive because you want more shares and more shares. Uh, so here we go with example number three of dividend investing in Ford stock. Now in this scenario, we're going to invest $1,000, say in January, and Ford, at the time of this video, uh, when I did the numbers, uh, Ford stock, which is a ticker of an F, uh, was at $8.27 per share. So if we invest $1,000 in Ford at $8.27 per share, we would be purchasing 120 shares. There's a little, little money left over. Uh, and uh, so, uh, in our first month, we saved up $1,000 and we got 120 shares. Now in February, we're going to add another 200 bucks, And that will purchase 25 shares, which will give us 145 shares. Now we're rocking. And in March, we'll do the same thing. $200, which will buy 25 shares, assuming the price doesn't change. If you look over at the 52 week high and low, Ford doesn't move that much. So it's not a growth stock and it does have issues. I'll explain those later or you can see it in the first video. Uh, we buy the, t the 25 shares. So now we have 170 shares. Now at the end of March, uh, we get paid our dividend. That's our free passive income our free money and on payday which we'll spend in April in this example we had 170 shares times 15 cents dividend per share which will give us a payout of $25.50 now with that $25.50 we can buy approximately three shares we get three free shares now, think about it. We saved up our money for a, th a thousand, and now we're doing 200 per month. And when you look at it, if you only save $6.60 a, a day, which is a lot for some people, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. It becomes addictive. Uh, you'll end up with your 200. So, we actually bought 170 shares, and we got three free shares if we invest the dividend back into Ford. You don't have to invest back into Ford. You could buy something else. But in this example, I want to keep it very simple. So in April, another 200, another 25 shares, and we're up to 198 shares. This is about where I am right now with Ford. I have other stocks, but and I, I, want, to, I want to get up to maybe 250 and then I'll, I'll probably stop, let it ride, 
and buy other stuff such as AT&T, Verizon, BP, Chevron, Southern, uh, Southern Company, Electric, uh, and whatnot. So in April, <coughs> again, now we're up to 198. In May, we invest, we saved our $6.60 per day, got our 200 bucks, another 25 shares, assuming the price doesn't change. Very simple example. Uh, now we're up to 223 shares. In June, same thing. Now we're up to 248 shares. At that point, I would like to diversify. But in, at the end of June, we get a payday. We probably won't check our account, but we'll spend it in July. We have 248 shares times a 15 cent per share dividend equals $37.50. Now that, you see the compounding here. Uh, now we got four shares for free. Uh, and now we're up to 252 shares. In July, 225 up to 277. August, up to two, uh, 302. Uh, September, up to 327 shares. At the end of September, it's payday free money man free money passive income you're making it while you sleep not only are you building a big account but now you're getting more and more money for free so and by the way uh, the dividend yield which is what the interest the dividend pays is 7.26 percent approximately so now in October we spend our payday which was 327 shares times 15 cents, assuming the dividend doesn't change. Uh, see part one and two. Uh, now we get a payout of $49.05, which allows us to buy six more shares and gives us 333 shares. Now you see, this is a slow grind, but think about your grandparents. Think about you 30 years from now when you have all of these you have multiple stocks right not just ford i'm not endorsing ford but you have all of these stocks and they're growing while you sleep after we finish investing it um october 225 shares gives us 358 shares again 383 shares and again up to 408 shares now at this time I would probably definitely go buy something else, probably AT&T or something like that. <clears throat> and then in January uh, we spend our payout that's at the end of December and on 408 shares times a 15 cent dividend we get $61 and that equals 7.4 shares. I just call it seven just by seven. Uh, now we'll end here at 415 shares. Uh, if the price of the stock hasn't changed, it's still eight dollars and twenty seven cents per share. Our account will be thirty four hundred and thirty two dollars after we invested thirty two hundred dollars. Now see after doing all of this we got two hundred and thirty two dollars for free while you sleep while you're doing other things if you're addicted to your account and you stare at it all day that's not a lot of money uh, but it does take a lot of money to start earning a significant amount but uh, think about it uh, you can go start buying other stocks with this sixty one dollars <clears throat> and who doesn't like $61 every three months for free? It's amazing, actually. It's a slow grind, but uh, it's fun. And it, it's, when, you, when you're sitting at 120 shares and you're going, wow, if I could only have 25 more, uh, wow, I'd be up to 145. Oh, I want to do it again. I want to do it again. 
And for me, <clears throat> these payouts, uh, I watch, I do watch them in my spare time. And now Ford has had, as I've said in other videos, they've raised their dividend up for the past, well, they did it three times recently. And the 15 cent dividend has been there all the time. But the interesting thing, the part I love is when I build my spreadsheet, I've got Chevron, Royal Dutch, uh, BP, AT&T, <clears throat> Verizon, Ford, Apple. And while Ford is not raising, they haven't raised in five years, <clears throat> other stocks do raise their dividend. So even if it's a penny, if it's a penny, uh, like AT&T typically raises their dividend by a penny, uh, you get an extra four bucks every quarter. It's, I don't know about you, but you know, I haven't gotten a raise. I've gotten one raise in like 15 years. And here, my AT&T stock gives me raises every year. Some stocks every month. Apple, uh, big, pr pretty significant raise every year uh, so far. So, trying to make this easy. Save up your money, start with a thousand bucks, save six dollars and sixty cents a day, gives you two hundred dollars a month, and you'll see how it goes. Now, if you're not impressed with the two hundred and thirty two dollars that you got, think about what that amount's going to be in, say, 10 years, even five years, 20 years. And don't also focus on the 232. Now, here's a little mind trick. <clears throat> You've saved up this money. You've got 3200 invested. You've got, now your account is 3400 And I'm talking to beginners here. Uh, but not only are you making 232 but you are diligent and dedicated and now you have a safety net fund of $3,400. Now if you're like me, you go, wow, we, we just had a disaster. What am I going to do? I got to sell my Ford stock, my AT&T stock. My Apple stock, I can't sell that. So there's a barrier with this $3,400 that you go, man, I can't get into that. I can't get into that. I got to leave it because I watch it grow all the time. I can't touch it. Oh, that'll be the last place I go because I love these paydays. I, I love them. And once you have, uh, say, 10 or 12, 20 stocks, then you're getting paid all the time. And that's what's cool about it. And you go, oh, that's my baby. Oh, and when they raise it, you, I have a total. I have my stocks uh, listed, number of shares, dividend, payout, wherever they are on the calendar, and a total at the bottom. And even if it just goes from, uh, say, 100 and $47 per month when I total up all my dividends and I get a raise from somebody and it's four dollars and I go Wow, I just cleared a hundred and fifty bucks. Now. How am I gonna get to a hundred and seventy-five? It's fascinating. It's fun uh, it's Kind of addictive and you make money while you sleep while you're doing other stuff. I want to make an, another note on this the people I haven't I haven't purchased these, but Walmart, McDonald's, and Coke. Those are kind of growth stocks. Still, they pay a dividend, but they have I guess expansion possibilities. They're, they're kind of running out, but they do pay dividends. And I drink Coke Zero when I go to the states. I shop at Walmart. And when I go to the States, I can't wait to get a Big Mac. Imagine if you're a stock owner in those three companies. You're using their product and 
and you owned a hundred shares, they're they're basically giving you free free stuff, right? In this case, what if it was McDonald's paying you thirty seven dollars every uh, ninety days quarterly? Uh, wow, I have no idea how much a Big Mac costs, but uh, say uh, the the dollar nineteen cheeseburger. Well, they they'll they're gonna pay you, and you get twenty of them. <clears throat> Coca Cola. How much is a two liter of Coke? A dollar? I, I have no idea. But you get forty of them for free every ninety days. You could think of it like that. With the oil stocks, I have Royal Dutch, BP, uh, Chevron, some pipelines and they basically are paying me and then I go put gas in my truck so I get free gasoline. It's an amazing concept. It is a slow grind and in this case we had to add to it and build it up. If you're lucky you get some cash and you're able to start out with 10,000 you know it start, it's bigger than this right so uh, you can't retire and you're only making what uh, 40 cents a day but you're sleeping and you're making 40 cents a day so I hope you enjoyed this please if you haven't seen part one and part two go back and see that it explains my thinking on Ford which is kind of it looks kind of risky but I see a lot of people talking good about it I'm not endorsing Ford you could have applied this to AT&T, but I picked Ford because it has a low price and we get to see the actual results uh, quicker with only $1,000 and $200. So that's why I picked it. Well, anyway, go see part one, part two, and see this and consider it. You got to do your own research. I'll do another video on uh, how I kind of screen stocks which is not anything like Warren Buffett, but at least uh, it's some things that I look into. Hope you enjoyed it. Get out of debt and go save $6.60. Actually, it's 66 cents. I just don't like 666. So anyway, like, subscribe, think about leadership. See you later. Have a good day.